When trying to figure out ways to keep your site protected, you may come across so many variables that you are going to feel completely overwhelmed. Hi, my name is Ariana and I'm going to give you some tips that help me maintain my site away from those pesky hackers. Also, if you stick until the end, I'm going to give you some extra tips that I'm sure are going to help you keep your site protected. Now, if you're here, unfortunately, it can be because either you have been in the same position that I was, where my site got completely compromised, or you are just one cautious person that don't want to be part of this group of people. But it's fine, we're not here to judge. Let's get started. So after the incident that I had with my personal blog, um, I took some steps that I was making sure to perform continuously just to make sure that my site was protected against any brute force attack. So firstly, you need to get into your WordPress every single day just to make sure that it's updated to the latest version, as well as any plugins, themes, or anything else that you have installed. This will ensure that your site is less likely to become vulnerable and it won't allow any attacker to exploit or damage your website. There are also tools that can help you get this tedious work out of your hands, such as Easy Updates Manager, which enables you to turn on auto updates on your site and it also allows you to choose which parts of your site you would like this plugin to keep up to up auto updating. <laughs> Also, don't forget to uninstall themes or plugins that you hardly ever use or that you know are outdated for quite some time and just install what you know is highly reviewed and just proven to be safe. Backups, guys, this one was really difficult for me to understand and to do all the time. And trust me, it cost me a great deal like my time because I had to set up everything from scratch after my site got attacked. Now, there are several ways that you can get this done on your WordPress site. Um, one will be manually. Uh, this you can do via the C panel. It doesn't sound as much fun. And I would really recommend this one to people who have more experience on the website backends. But I'm pretty sure that, I mean, your host provider um, can help you with any questions that you may have. The second option will be the automatic backup with your hosting site. Uh, this sounds a little bit similar to the manual backup, but the only difference is that it does it automatically for you. And lastly, there are plugins. I mean, plugins are your best friends, guys. WordPress is full of this. Uh, now, there is one called Updraft Plus that offers you a solution for free that has everything that you need, plus some extras if you decide to go for the paid, the paid or premium version. Make sure that your website or your WordPress site has HTTPS enabled, which is a protocol used to provide security over the internet using SSL certificates. And this will allow for the encryption of very sensitive information while providing that additional level of, level of security. Um, additionally, Google announced that they will give priority to those sites that have been updated to HTTPS and ultimately that's going to benefit your SEO. Passwords should be complex and random. They need to contain upper cases, lower cases and special characters and it's best for them to be between 10 to 16 characters long. Now I know how difficult it is to remember every single complex and random password that you have for everything. I came across one password and it is amazing. It allows you like if you're creating a new account it allows for uh, it to give you a randomly generated password and it's gonna save everything into a vault then no one can have access to it, just you with a master password. And I mean, it's amazing. I have it on my phone, I have it on my computer, I have it on my tablet. And also don't forget to secure the login page of your site just by enabling a CAPTCHA two-factor authenticator or just by limiting the amount of attempts that a person can have when trying to log in into the website. 
change your default login and password, please. While everyone remembers all the steps I mentioned before, this one tends to be quite overlooked. I mean, default, over, uh, default usernames and passwords aren't the same for every WordPress site that you create. It's, the username is literally admin and then the password, I don't know, one to six. Guys, that is completely 2016 and we, 2018 and we literally need to break that rule so just make sure that as soon as you have everything set up you change the username for something other than admin and use a random you know generated password randomly generated password just like i mentioned you know like a couple of minutes before i talk a lot but if you stuck until here, as I promise, I'm going to give you those extra tips. When you're going to decide for a host provider, uh, you need to go for the reputable one and not just for the cheap one. This is a mistake I made and it cost me being in a company that had a security breach and my site got completely compromised. The point that whenever you try to access my site, it will just redirect you to any random website that was complete like completely full of spam. Um, it was very difficult for me to get all the site working as it was before. Uh, the company had a poor customer service and in the end, I just decided to just go for a different one and just migrate all the information I had to a new host provider. It was a little bit more expensive, but in the end, completely worth it. Now, there are endless options out there. Now, this host provider I went for, it offers me unlimited SSD storage, free site migration, easy to use cPanel, free SSL certificate, and so many more things that it has to offer. Especially the customer service is completely amazing. When I was trying to migrate my site, it was very difficult because of this other company. Um, and I was back and forth with the customer service guys and they actually did everything for me. Everything that they were able to do on their part, right? Um, they were extremely helpful, extremely friendly, and I mean, they were just amazing. It is obvious that I'm going to be talking about this one, but I have met a fair share of people that decided to go for a null theme because it was free and they ended up having security incidents to say the least. Not only it will put your site at risk by inviting attackers that put any kind of malicious codes inside the theme, but it can get you into some real legal issues if the actual owner finds out about this. And to mention other issues, I mean, you are not gonna be able to get any updates, it will affect your SEO, it will discredit your site, and ultimately you won't be supporting the people that put time and effort developing such an amazing thing for you to use. WordPress is incredibly vast in information and plugins that you can include to increase the efficiency on your site and most importantly, the safety of it. As an example, WordFence security includes a firewall and a malware scanner, two-factor authentication, CAPTCHA, and even limiting the number of attempts to try for the login. Pretty cool, huh? But remember, if it all seems too complicated and overwhelming, and if it, if it is between your budget, you can always hire an, a security expert to assist you with every issue that you may encounter or want to avoid. Someone or a team which is dedicated for the, I mean, to the security of your website, informed on the latest technology or and or threats, and someone that can continuously offer you technical support. This will ensure that you have the best protection and assistance when it's needed. I hope that all these tips help you as much as they helped me when I was a victim of a massive lack of security on my website. Now, do you have any other tips that help you keep your WordPress site safe? Share in the comments below. I would really love to hear from your experiences. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.